always encouraging to see the bees outside the hive flying around doing their thing when the sun shines on them and uh, this one is uh, again what we have here is this this is another one of these entrances that's below the top entrance the top of the hive and uh, I wasn't sure if the bees would have enough sense to actually go down and find the exit but they are so that's good a bee landing on me it's a nice warm day a bee crawling on my ear get away and this one has the same dealio, but I also have a top entrance. And you can see clearly they're just going for the top entrance. They're not even using that bottom entrance. I, if I clog that up or block that up, would they would they continue to use this one like that one is doing? I don't know. Um, see, the thing is, like, I mean, I've had top entrances for years in the winter time, and it's never been a big deal. Uh, it didn't seem to hurt the bees. But uh, again, it's just something that I always did, and I suppose it doesn't hurt to question these conventional wisdom of uh, our beekeeping practices sometimes, just to see what difference it makes if you try something new. And this, these guys, they have a top entrance, but it's again, it's also the. Uh, let's just get in there. Boop. Focus, yeah, quicker. There we go. This camera doesn't. His cell phone isn't the greatest for autofocus sometimes. Anyway, they're up there somewhere. Where are they? Anyway, this is looking good. I like that. I, lo I like seeing the bees come alive when the sun comes out. And why is this camera not focusing? There we go. Let's just take a look. God, I love it when the bees wake up. Whoop, that's a bit of a vibration that they didn't need. Let's see here. Let's see. Let's see. Come on, focus you. Why, why is this camera not focusing these days? Anyway, there's bees in there. <clears throat> it's a good day for cleansing flights. So it's interesting too. So, so I got these hives. These are the hives that are facing the sun. The sun is right behind me right now. And they're the ones getting uh, active right now. Flying all around, getting the poops. And these guys are doing nothing. I expect then, I hope, that when the sun burns around this way and lands, this is usually the way the sun goes, that they'll get direct sun, sunlight and they'll start waking up later this afternoon and get up for some cleansing flights. And why is this camera not focusing? There it is. Yeah, but it's always nice to see this, eh? You know, you're just hanging out and the bees wake up. It gives you, gives you hope. Uh... What are these guys doing? Normally, you know, when a bee lands on your face, you kind of go, eh. But um, they're just getting out for cleansing flights, and they're they're totally, they're not in stinging mode at all. Right? So, they're not defensive. Probably getting it for a little bit of water. This is good. This is perfect. So this is what you need. I want, I want cold, I want cold temperatures to keep them clustered. And once a month they get to come out like this. That would be perfect because they'd, they'd be able to get out for their cleansing flights. They'd be able to bring in extra water or uh, nutrients from the dirt and the mud and everything else that's around. All that jazz. <clears throat> and then, then it freezes again and I'll go back there. You can't see what the camera's looking at right now. Let's just take a quick look. I'm always so curious. I should just leave the bees alone. Not that that dead bee. Oh. Anyway, I got bees landing on me all over the place. And this colony, this is the one with the really small, really small cluster. And I wonder though. See, the thing is, when they got a small cluster, if if, if they're just doing everything they can to stay alive, and they they don't want to break cluster, they might not go down and. You know, find that exit. So maybe they should have a top entrance. I don't know. I mean, you can think yourself into a conundrum every time with this stuff, because it's just it's just it's just endless permutations. But it is always nice to just to see the bees in it. They wake up and they're look at that. They're doing bee stuff. They're doing what they what they're supposed to do.
Actually, today would be a, a good day to uh, clear out some of this stuff and uh, put a put a brick on that one. Um, I've got somebody who's making up a, a candy board uh, and said he might have one for me, so I'm gonna maybe save this, the, the candy board for this one. Let's see what happens. Man, I got bees just landing everywhere. Oh, like there's my glasses. There's the bee. The bees in my hair. It's always fun though when they they sort of land on you like this because they're just so. They they're just so you know. Oh look at this. Hold on. See so right there on the left. That's that's sugar. And uh, anyway, I got so many bees landing on me. It's just like, eh, go away. Huh. And looking at this colony yesterday, I wasn't sure that the cluster was big enough for them to, you know, break cluster and exit the hive and do what they need to do. Because uh, sometimes when they're so small, they just can't do anything but stay clustered. Uh, but they're big enough that they can break cluster and, and come out and get up for cleansing flights. And uh, so that's great. I'm really super happy with this. <laughs> I'm just so pleased that they're actually doing what I want them to do. They're doing what they need to do. So this is great. These guys are coming to life, I can see. This is nice. Um, but this one, definitely not looking good. And uh, it's really small. And it gives you hope, right? You just think, wow, are they going to make it? Because like you got colonies, like these, this one and this one, they're, they're robust. They're, 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 they've got no special treatment. They're clustered way down below. All these other ones are coming up to the top already. Um, so you I just you can relax with those, but the ones that are on the fence, it's just it's always like, yeah, are they gonna make it? I don't know. And uh, but this this looks good to me. This is good. This is a good sign. Mm -hmm.